Welcome back everybody to Sandy 10 build series for the barracks in parent child schematics. This is episode 18 part four. This is actually going to be the last episode in this mini series. I'm pretty excited. I might actually do a uh, short recap that covers both styles just real quick. The rules that everybody needs, but uh, other than that, that'll be uh, probably a video outside of the series. But let's go ahead and jump into this. So we, in the last video, covered automatic upgrading parent-child schematics. In this one, we are going to be taking a look at, uh, what? I don't know how else to describe it. I just call it manually upgrading parent-child schematics. So to do that, we need to fix these schematics up a bit. So level one, I am going to go ahead and get rid of these three towers uh actually no wait i'm gonna get rid of this one we'll start off with this one here there we go yep uh now i can go ahead and clean these up and i'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and i'll be back in a second So let's go ahead and talk about this for a second. I went ahead and removed the tower base here, uh, cleaned up the borders down here. So then uh, we have this kind of a courtyard down here and we'll have one tower up here. Uh, so now I need to go up, update the second schematic, third schematic, fourth schematic. And I will be back in just a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up as I get to work and then we'll cover those changes when we're done. So for manually upgrading barracks or manually upgrading parent-child schematic, we can actually define the order in which the towers are built. This is the way it used to work originally until they coded it so that we could do this. Now I would imagine you can actually do the same process, I think. I've, I've never tested it. Um, so I'm not sure if you put a, you know, if you only started with one tower here, by the time we get to level four, you're going to have a mix of towers at various levels. And it might actually turn out pretty wonky. Uh, the way this barracks is designed but it's okay because this is just an example and you know ultimately it might just give you a little incentive to get these towers done uh, in quicker fashion than you otherwise might have but anyways let's jump into it so level one barracks has one tower level two barracks has two towers level three barracks we have three towers by level four we have all four towers level five basically exists just to get all five or four towers up to level five right so now in order to make this function safely and properly we need to put in a whole bunch of placeholders uh, now i'm not going to put any placeholders in level one if I wanted to, I could fill this space in with placeholders. That way, if you ever had to repair the level one barracks, um, your tower would be safe. I don't see that as necessary exactly, because if the level one barracks gets damaged for some reason, just upgrade it to level two, right? Why would you repair level one? Anyways, now what we are going to have to do though, is go ahead and fill this space in here with placeholders where our tower will be because if we don't when you upgrade the barracks to level two it's going to force air in all of that space where the tower is and you are not going to have anything whatsoever i need to leave a space there so that i can get back in here but otherwise we will fill all of this in with placeholders. And this one over here, we can 
Again, we can either leave it the way it is, or I can go ahead and fill it in with placeholders. Since we've already used level one to clear this space of air, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in with placeholders. And I'm just gonna lay down the, essentially a template of where our placeholders are gonna go. Cause I'm gonna fill those in afterwards in a minute. Cause we need to do something else before we bury our uh, hut blocks here. Let me go ahead and do this. All right. So this is the way this is gonna proceed. I'm just gonna fill the volume up to uh, the height of our towers for each level. But first, we need to go ahead and take a scan of Okay, um, after testing, we have a slight problem, and I know what I did to make an error, or insert, insert an error into our build, so I just decided to randomly scan this barracks tower up block, but if we come over here and look at our towers, uh, the hut block is actually facing a different direction, which means that when I went to test it in game, the rotation was broken. So we just have to scan this at the correct rotation. Yes. And now I have to go back through and paste all of these back in place. Uh, so there's your little uh, public service announcement on me making mistakes and correcting it and then we will test it again and be back and the video will continue shortly it is just our hub block you can actually scan the whole volume of the tower if you want to but we need to do what we call setting a zero level schematic so to do that I need sandyton slash military slash barracks tower zero all right, and we can save that. That's now saved. All right, now we have to do the same process that we did for uh, our prior version, our auto upgrading. We need to do the same process of moving that schematic over to the proper folder. So let's open this up, grab our blueprints, Thalar scans. Uh, should be just the military. Yep, there we go. So we can go ahead and cut that, paste it back up here at our blueprints level folder. Uh, all of our style packs have to be in the blueprints folder here, cannot be inside of our name, our own scan folder, which in this case Thalar would be my scan folder, it has to be up here under the blueprints. Alright, so now that that is done, we can close those. And we'll just get back into game and I'll be back in a second. All right, now that we are back in game, let's go ahead and see if we did that correctly. So we're going to come down here. Let's bring up our, oh, there's Sanditon right there. Military, Barracks Tower. If you watched the previous video, we only had five levels of the Barracks Tower. You can see we now have six levels. This schematic is Barracks Tower Zero. That's perfect. That is just what we want and need. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it right in place of the uh, previous hut block. Now this is important because this links the child and the parent, right? Just the same way we did before. It's going to tell the, the parent building that this child is that schematic. It's something else entirely. So. We can go ahead and go around, paste all these into place. Uh, it really doesn't matter if you use schematic paste or constructed. I'm going to get this done in a jiffy and we'll be back in a second. All right, we are back and I have gone through and pasted all of the uh, zero level hut blocks or zero level schematics into our builds here. So now all I actually need is...
Now I can just paste these into place. Schematic paste. And we've got a big power of placeholders. I can just go through and go ahead and do the rest of these. All right, I am all done uh, going ahead and uh, putting our placeholders in place of our towers so that everything is safe upon repair and upgrade and build. All that's left to do now is scan and test it. So let's go ahead and jump over to the auto scanner here. Um, there's no particular reason I need to sit through everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit that right there for our alt barracks. And uh, I've never tried to make a barracks and an alternative barracks, so this is going to be a nice test to see if that works also. You can see I jumped out of game because, as usual, we have to take our schematics and push them over to the blueprints folder and our style pack. Right here we are back in game. Let's go ahead and give this a trial run. All right, I just got the message that the barracks is completed. So let's go ahead and fly over here, take a look and build options, build it. Here we are back in our test world. Now let's just go ahead and repair the barracks real quick. I'm gonna break that block just in case. And now let's just wait for that request. All right, let's build our barracks tower and this time it should hopefully work. Um, so quick discussion when I was recording and doing this the first time I just randomly grabbed this block. I wasn't thinking when I did that, but that block is facing this direction. The barracks tower block in our barracks towers is facing that direction. So when I scanned this, it scanned this block's orientation. Now it has no problems using this block as the placeholder for the towers. But the problem is that the block in the towers was rotated 90 degrees. So that was how I ended up with that error up there. Um, so make sure you are scanning and placing your hut blocks in the correct orientation. And that is also one of the reasons that we don't move hut blocks because you don't actually move the hut block. You move the schematic around it. The hut block is always the anchor in 3D space that the schematic is built around so you can see that just in that little rotation error the entire schematic was turned and it was then out of alignment in 3d space and that's it our barracks tower was built correctly uh just like the other version down there the automatic version the only thing that's left to do is build this all the way up to level five build all the towers all the way up to level five just to ensure that everything is working properly but that is it that is the end of our discussion for parent child schematics and the barracks but other than that thanks for joining me i believe we start on either the archery range or the combat academy next week i'm looking forward to moving on from something from the barracks here just because the barracks is always kind of a pain in the butt but thanks for joining me We'll see you in the next video, and bye-bye.